Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chucky Boy. Hope you are having a wonderful Sunday. And if not, it is about to get a lot more fantastic because we just got the full length trailer for the upcoming Chucky TV series. This is a three minute long, hefty, tiny little, not tiny, huge. It really gives us a taste of what we can expect from the Chucky TV series that will be premiering on the Sci-Fi Channel this October. So many wonderful reveals and a twist for the franchise that I think new and old fans are absolutely gonna love. So I'm gonna your guys opinions down below. What do you think of this Chucky TV series trailer? Is it what you're expecting it to be? Do you think Chucky is still being a little too comedic? Do you think they really are paying homage to Child's Play 2? Because there is a lot of talk of Child's Play 2 from this. This happened because Comic-Con is currently happening this weekend. I know you might not have heard of it because for some reason comic-con just isn't as bumping as it used to but one of the bigger panels was this legacy of chucky event that you can watch right now it's about 14 minutes long on the comic-con youtube page the first like 12 minutes are just talking about the behind the scenes giving you an idea of what they were going for with this tv series then at the very end they drop this trailer so diving first into the trailer and then some of the behind the scene details that they revealed here with extra footage we now know that the chucky tv series seems to be happening on halloween night at least that's the first thing we get here are actually flashbacks scenes and that is young Charles Lee Ray Chucky taking out his candy from Halloween night. That's going to be one of the key things about this TV series is that we're going to be going back to where Chucky grew up as a child and finding out how he eventually became the sadistic serial killer which I'm very hesitant on because it's always kind of weird when they tell you exactly why a cool killer is a killer but maybe they'll pull it off here. Why he is the way he is. How did you end up like this? Great. Question. It's really shown in a real creative way. Let me tell you the story of my first time. It's also worth pointing out that this might be an homage to Michael Myers. We've seen Don Mancini, the creator, pay homages to other serial killers before. He's even talked about wanting to have a Freddy Krueger and Chucky movie. Like, that'll never happen, unfortunately. But also in Bride of Chucky, he had a ton of Easter eggs to other serial killers there. So this might be him doing that with Chucky here, giving him a clown outfit very similar to what young Michael Myers wore when he first started killing. Now if we notice some of these flashback Halloween scenes are coinciding with current day Halloween so it seems like something happened on Halloween night to Charles Lee Ray and now in Halloween present time it's going to come back into play. Then we meet our lead star. We saw some of this in the teaser trailer they dropped last week in preparation for this big trailer of our new main lead of the series Jake Weber. This is going to be a kid who's 14 years old is gay. I only bring that up because Don Mancini mentions that as a big important part of the show so why not mention it here but he's a kid who's an artist and is working on a sculpture made out of dolls and that's why he decides to purchase this Chucky doll at this yard sale and once we get inside his actual room we can even see that sculpture he's working on right there definitely very creepy I have no idea how Chucky was gonna fit into this sculpture but I think it's a great reason why for someone his age would purchase a Chucky doll that's retro and old but then some other shots in this trailer I'm a little confused by but hopefully they explain it good in the actual show I also absolutely love how as the trailers playing we're getting some child's play 2 theme music which is my absolute favorite music from the child's play franchise i mean that's what my shirt is right here and if you watch that behind the scenes comic-con thing that we're going to get into they definitely talk a lot about how child's play 2 is not only the vibe they were going for but is how they wanted the new chucky doll to look but they are still paying homage some things that happened in previous chucky movies because we get again this scene that has happened now like three times in the child's play franchise our character if this chucky doll has batteries for the reason why it's moving and talking and it does not. Really great callback to when Karen in the first Child's Play went ahead and did this. But it seems like they're actually going to flip the script on us and do something different that I'm really curious to see how it turns out. Before they show us that though, we get to see Jake Weber taking this doll to school and sitting with him. This is the part that I'm curious, like, how are they going to explain and justify this? Because I don't know about you guys, but if I even tried taking my Funko Pop to school back in the day, they probably shut me down and sent me to detention before the big kids beat me up. But we also get to see the kind of person that Jake Weber is because he mentions here that he doesn't do good around blood. He doesn't like that, which is definitely going to become a problem later in the series when Chucky starts doing his stuff. And of course, Chucky is the one to go ahead and dissect the frog. I mean, just that visual alone to me is terrifying and is something I think we would see in the Child's Play movie because I think that's one thing a lot of fans are worried about with this TV series that they're really going to tone it down that it's going to be a censored version of Chucky and it's not the kind that we're used to but no this looks like they're going to be very gory even in the behind the scenes they showed some very gory stuff that is happening and cursing I'm your friend to the end you get fucked with that shit. 
I'm not six years old. From there, we get to meet Jake Weber's father here, who we now kind of know better what the Devin Sawa character is. It turns out he is a twin. So we'll be having Devin Sawa play the father of Jake Weber here, who is obviously an alcoholic and not really a great father. This seems to be very angry at him and abusive. But part of me thinks that we're not going to be seeing Devin Sawa play two characters almost all throughout the season, because then we quickly get shots of the police at Jake Weber's house and Chucky just sitting there in the distance. Something tells me that Chucky's going to see how abusive of this dad is and goes I'll take care of this problem for you, kid, and gets rid of him. From there, we get to meet one of the friends and also love interests for our character, Jake Weber. This is a character named Devin Lopez, and like I said, he's a friend to our main character, but our main character also is in love with him. That's gonna be an interesting dynamic, especially if the character of Devin is not gay himself and doesn't see Jake in that way. It's gonna cause a real conflict and add just an interesting layer to the show. Other details that we've heard about Devin's character, he's said to be a YouTuber in this series, so he's constantly making YouTube videos and talking about news reports so I'm sure probably one of those things will be talking about Chucky and his past killings and as the trailer goes on we get to see what kind of person Jake Weber is in school and he definitely seems to be the person that is mistreated and bullied a lot which will come into play on flipping the script in the series because it looks like Chucky and our main character are gonna be teaming up and not really enemies here which I think is absolutely fantastic because right here during a school assembly it looks like while he's being a laughed at or maybe a prank just happened to him Chucky whispers something in his ear and our main character just goes all right, I guess I'll do what you say, Chucky. Leading to what I've heard is an amazing scene in the first episode here where it's kind of like a talent show of sorts or a tryout where our character brings up the Chucky doll, pretends to be a ventriloquist, and Chucky just goes off. I think that is an awesome setup, and I can't wait to see this full scene played out. There's even other creative ways that they're going to be able to bring Chucky to life without other people noticing that they've shown off here. Like at one point, they show Chucky trick-or-treating, wearing a Hello Kitty mask, and people just think is a regular little boy. It's funny, but I think also really creative for them to do. Then we get a quick shot of how Chucky is most likely going to end up killing the dad of our main character. And remember, a lot of times when you're looking at Chucky, this is all practical effects. It doesn't seem to be CGI. They use practical effects as much as possible in this show. Because even this scene right here of someone that looks like tossed Chucky aside and now he's starting to form and stand up. I think that looks really creepy and cool. We even get to see some of the awesome kills that we'll be seeing in this Child's Play TV series that again lets me know that they are going to be faithful and as bloody as ever because it looks like while well, Jake Weber and his cousin who's named Junior Weber, I'm assuming that after Jake Weber's dad dies, Jake then has to move in with his cousin and that's what we'll be seeing him and it looks like Junior it comes from a rich family because this is a really nice house and their housekeeper just got the Chucky treatment with a bunch of knives in the dishwasher. Don't look at that and tell me that they're going to censor Chucky in this series. One thing I am kind of curious how it'll play out if it'll be too goofy and remind me a little bit of Seed of Chucky but I'm willing to give it a shot is Chucky here is basically playing video games with another character. Mommy says real killing is bad. Yeah, well, mommy's foolish. Whether this is another family member of Jake Weber or someone else, I do kind of like the dialogue in between them and Chucky saying, your mother's foolish. Just whatever game they're playing, please do not let it be Fortnite. We have had enough characters play Fortnite on the big screen. What all these remaining shots of the trailer are coming to look like is that the finale is probably going to be one big Halloween party where Chucky's going to try and convince the main character that, hey, I can solve your problems. I can get rid of all these bullies by killing them at this big party. I'll be honest with you, this series is looking really fantastic and I think this trailer did a great job of showcasing our main new characters because one thing this trailer really did not do is reveal any of the old characters coming into the series. That's one of the things that was very big on this Comic-Con panel when they were talking about the Chucky TV series is they were mentioning that we will have Alex Vincent and Kyle coming back, reforming that relationship that we saw in Child's Play 2, this little brother and big sister dynamic, which I'm really excited about. We also have Nika returning, and I think we even get to see a glimpse of that. Don't forget, at the end of Cult of Chucky, Nika is technically Chucky because Charles Lee Ray was able to transfer his soul into her, as well as Jennifer Tilly's character, who knows if her doll Tiffany will be showing up. But none of those characters were present in this trailer, and we know 100% that they will show up to somehow help our new characters. So I really like this dynamic of what they've been doing. I can't wait to see what's done, but I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about this trailer for the Chucky TV series? Are you excited to see it go down? What were your favorite parts? What are you concerned about? Or do you think, nah, everything looks great. Anything and everything, be sure to leave me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Oh, Chucky boy, take care.